MTV celebrity John Norris yeah, here. Right, right. Uh, making a little guest in our documentary. As a journalist, uh, this is obviously not the perceived event down right. South by Southwest. Was this something that, as someone like us, as a college journalist, that you came down to as well when you were in college and you started in yeah, your journalism career? Yeah, funny you should say because I actually came down kind of on my own when I was in college, um, just because I was contributing to our, our paper and then doing some stuff for our radio station. But um, that was all like on my own dime, you know. But that was years ago. That was in the early days of South by. And um, man, it's like, I mean, I know everyone's told you how much it's grown just like exponentially since then it's it's uh, it's pretty insane I, it, it's um <clears throat> it's sort of like sometimes it's a bit much and it's just it gets overwhelming at night but it's still great it's still great oh uh, over the past years you've been here what stands out is like legendary shows what they say legendary bands playing at south by southwest yeah you know it's funny <coughs> It's funny that, um, because they always talk about bands that, that sort of blew up at South By, and um, I mean, you can go back to last year, like a band like Arctic Monkeys, who came here with a lot of advanced hype anyway. I think that I think that the role of South By, and really the role of any kind of showcase or festival, has changed in the 10 years that South By's been around. It, I don't know that it's so much possible for a band to really break here now, because really breaking is something that happens online more than anything, you know? And I think the role of, of something like this is more, more just a place, it's kind of a one-stop shop for, for people to come together and, and see as much as they can, uh, music-wise. I mean, really across the board, from genre to genre. And uh, yeah. other than contributing as a journalist yourself, uh, what did you come down to see musically? Well, I mean, a lot of the, the thing is a lot of bands <clears throat> that are playing here I have gotten a chance to see in New York before, but um, like last, yesterday I saw this band, Menomina, who's amazing, uh, this band from Portland that like kind of experimental art, art rock kind of thing. And, and I never seen them, and a friend of mine is a huge fan, and so I was I was uh, psyched to see them. Last night here at Emos, I saw Beirut, who were just amazing. I got to interview Zach after that. And first time I'd met him, I think he's you know kind of pretty much a genius. And um, I don't know today. And Black Lips, I'm seeing this afternoon, who I've seen. I hear that their like shows are off the wall, and um, there's a lot of stuff I'm looking forward to.